welcome you all to the new video session today we will be learning about curves curves and splines are interchangeably used what are these splines or curves they are non linear paths that means they are curvical sections non polynomial sections which are not straight line paths they have bends twists and turns in their travel medium these are few examples of curves or splines and interesting fact is that the shape size all of these curves are determined by certain points and these points are known as control points now why are these termed as control points just because they control the shape and size of the curve they determine where the curve should bend how long a curve should be where it moves straight and all these factors are controlled by these control points depending on the positions and the nature of control points the curves or the splines can be categorized into two they are approximation splines and interpolation splines let us see what are these approximation splines and interpolation splines well we are given with two pictures in the first picture we can see that the curve does not necessarily pass through all the control points even though it passes through some of the control points but it is not touching almost all the control points such a situation we can say that it is an approximation spline but if in a curve the curve passes through all the control points then we can say it is an interpolation spline so in interpolation spline the curve will obviously pass through all the control points but in an approximation spline it does not necessarily pass through all the control points well what do these control points signify as i said already they determine the size and shape of the curve if i wish the curve to be a little bit longer then i can increase the number of control points so that the curve can be a little bit longer what if i want to change the shape let us proceed to the next figure here i am having four set of control points depending on these four set of control points i can draw a curve like this is it but if i want the curve to be bent a little upwards then i can increase the number of control points like this so that the curve can bend a little and then come to its normal position so in this way the twists turns and bends are determined by the position of the control points and the length of the control length of the curve can be determined by the number of control points so this is a quite simple topic in computer graphics it is nothing but curves or splines hope the concepts being explained in this video are thoroughly understandable to all of you keep watching the videos support me through your feedbacks and comments watch the videos support me thank you